In this video, we'll be talking about the Ascari Nano, as well as programming your detectors into your Nano Station. The Ascari Nano Station is a wireless portable unit that monitors up to eight Ascari Scouts or Spies. It gives an audible as well as visual indication of individual Scouts and Spies that have been triggered. A check-in signal is done every 20 minutes from each beam to confirm that the system is in proper working order and that there is no signal interference. All Ascari scouts and spies are able to be placed up to 400 meters in line of sight away from the nano station. The nano is supplied with a 5 volt DC docking station for charging purposes. A fully charged nano station will have a battery life of up to 48 hours. Active zones are indicated by a solid red light. With one push of the button, you're able to switch the unit on. Another push on the same zone will switch it off. If you push any of the other buttons and no red light comes on, that means that no detectors have been programmed into that zone. So now to program in a detector, what you would do is go to the detector, get an Allen key that was provided to you, remove the battery saver tag, as well as the batteries. Once the batteries are put back into place, what you will hear is a startup mode. Once the second beep is heard, then you know you are ready to program the detector into your nano station. So what we do is select number one and then eight, followed by the right hand side button and select number one to enter programming mode. Select the zone you want to choose for this specific detector and activate the tamper switch. We will now see that the programming has been received. To confirm, make sure that the LED is on solid and once top and bottom eye have been detected, two beeps will occur as it is programmed into zone number two and the LED will flash according to that zone number. I'm sorry if that felt quite quick, but once you're in programming mode, you have to work quite quickly as you will be timed out if it's not done in the allocated time. Okay, we will now look to program in our spy into our nano station. Back into programming mode, one and then eight, the right hand send button, select number one to program in a detector, select your zone, we will then push and release the tamper switch and this will then confirm that the spy has been allocated a zone on the nano. It is now flashing with the tamper status and to remove the tamper light, we will disable and then re-enable that zone again. Once we trigger, a high tone followed by a lower tone will indicate that it's zone number five and it will audibly tell you and the visual indication of the LED shows that it is zone number five. We can now see that our scout as well as our spy are programmed into our nano. So to delete the zone, we go back into programming mode. We will then select number four and then the desired zone we want to delete. The spy has now been deleted out of the nano station. For more information, please consult the manual or our website.